Good morning, Hudson High. We will now observe a moment of silence. Please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is Friday, November 4th, a day two. We lead off today with an important message and challenge from our own HHS UNESCO team. The UNESCO team 2023 is back to highlight another individual who has worked to make education equitable for all. Last time they took you to India and introduced Babar Ali, and today they will be taking us to Pakistan. Here we will learn about how Malala Yousafzai fought to make school inclusive for all. Let's take a look. When Malala Yousafzai was young, her father ran a small school for children in the Swat Valley. From 2007 to 2009, the Taliban controlled Pakistan's Swat Valley. Using intimidation and terror tactics, they enforced their will on every aspect of life, including education. Girls they believed should not go to school. Thousands of girls dropped out of school, fearing for their safety, and many school closed because of the same reasons. Malala, however, continued to go to school, risking her life to become educated. She began speaking out against the Taliban, giving speeches about education which made her a target for the Taliban. In 2012, while riding the bus home from school, an armed Taliban shooter took over the bus and began to question which girl was Malala. Once he had identified her, he shot her in the head and continued to shoot randomly, wounding many others. Malala was rushed to a military hospital in Pakistan and later flown to a hospital in Birmingham, England, where she received extra care. She survived the near-fatal attack and continued her studies in England. She continued to speak out for girls' education, not only in Pakistan, but all around the world. In 2013, with the help of her father, she created the Malala Fund, a charity that works to help girls gain access to education. In 2014, she became the youngest Nobel Peace Prize winner, winning the award for her educational work. She continues to speak around the world, advocating for education and inspiring new Malalas. This week, we challenge you to perform a kind gesture for someone. It could be as simple as holding the door open for them. And don't forget, check out our Instagram at hhs.unesco for a chance to be featured in this challenge. Attention all students, school student ID cards are in. Please feel free to stop by the main office during lunch to pick yours up. Also, if you lost your original ID card, a replacement ID is available for you in the main office. Attention students, remember Community Council is partnering with local student government groups to host a toiletries drive for homeless veterans in our area. There is a box outside the office ready to take your donations until November 10th. Thank you for your help. The Math Center is now open. Need some help with your math homework, want some extra practice, or need to review for an assessment, but it's a Tuesday and your teacher has meetings? No problem. Come to the Math Center, no appointment needed. Student tutors will be available to help in G105 on Tuesdays from 2 to 3 p.m. Last day to audition for the all-school musical, Bring It On, the musical, is today from 2 to 5 in the auditorium. Everyone is welcome. You must come prepared to move. There will be dancing. If you would like to bring a short section of a song, we would love to hear it, and you will be taught a song to sing as well. We are looking for folks with skills in dance, cheerleading, gymnastics, and rap for this reimagined battle for cheer supremacy. If you have questions, please see Ms. Forrest in C110. If you didn't know already, you can request ARC appointments through Enriching Students. Log in on your Chromebook or mobile device and request appointments all day Monday and Tuesday morning until 9.36. Then, your teacher can accept and schedule the appointment from their end. This is a great way to ensure that you get the appointments that you want. Juniors, you are now able to self-schedule through the Enriching Students app. The window for scheduling is open all day Monday through Tuesday at 9.36 a.m. You still need to see your ARC mentor each Tuesday. Please make sure that you are not scheduling with any staff member or in any particular space more than twice in a week. Choose appointments that fit your needs and interests. 
Attention seniors, senior pictures and quotes are due today. Information on how to submit photos and quotes are on the senior Google Classroom page under the yearbook tab. Contact Ms. LeBlanc if you have any questions. And congratulations to all of our fall sports teams who continue on with tournaments and playoff games in the postseason. Come out and show your Hawk pride. Here are days and times. Tonight at 7 p.m., varsity football team takes on Swamp Scott for playoff game in the Morgan Bowl. Sunday, November 6th, boys soccer faces against Dover Sherbin and at 2 p.m. at Dover Sherbin. And the joke of the day is, which way did Jake run? That away! And with that, have a great day, Hudson High!